<laughs> Hi everyone, it's Nandi. Welcome back to Valiant Li Living, Vibrant Authentic Living. I am on my roof and I'm standing in front of one of the most beautiful things in creation. Now, this is a mango tree. If you know me, you know that mango is one of my absolutely favorite, if not the I think the favorite fruit. I give thanks every day that I live in the tropics and I am able to have abundant fruit right throughout the year. It's now mango season in Jamaica. The mango season, well, typically anywhere from February down to about maybe almost to summer um it's mango season but we're not yet at the height of the season it's it, it's pretty and, and different mangoes have come in at different times right so my favorite mango is the east indian mango what you have behind me here is they call it a bastard east indian mango tree is not a pure east indian i don't i don't know how they get the bastard maybe some kind of um the, well they say that when you plant the seed rather than um attaching it to the tree you know i, I don't understand the mechanic me mechanics of that but it's not a it's not a full breed um east india tree so it's a bastard <laughs> so here we have um, you can see there are some mangoes in the tree right now. They are still green. Say, see, it's not a pure East Indian. It doesn't. It doesn't even have that kidney shape that the East Indian has. And you can see the blossoms. As you can see, this particular tree, termites have gotten to it. Right, you can see the termites. All the way down the bark, they have they have um, they have taken over the tree, right? So I am just so anxiously waiting when I can go to the food van and see all of those East Indian mangoes just laid out, and I can just go and bite into that succulent flesh. Right now, I'm just looking at the blossoms. I'm looking at the green mangoes, and I'm giving them the eye. <laughs> Giving them, you know, that eye that you give something when you say, okay, we have a date. You know, I'll, I'll wait for you. We have a date. Right. So, um, it's very beautiful. So, I'm on the third floor of my house. So, this is a pretty, and you see the tree behind me. It's, you, can, you can see the foliage. So it's a pretty tall tree. It's very wide as well very expansive the thing with this tree though um some years the crop from it is not very good and depending on where on the tree it grows you might have like the, the a half of the mango will be ripe and another half will be green i don't know how that that happens um or maybe because it's not a you know full breed pure breed East Indian but well I live next door to this mango tree and sometimes you know some fall into my yard I anxiously await that so they fall into my yard and I run for them and I pick them up <laughs> I remember one time I was fasting I was and by the way I just completed um, a 13 day water fast I brought the fast yesterday with a Julie mango Right, so in Jamaica we have many varieties of mango. We have the East Indian, we have Julie, um, Number Eleven, we have Robin Mango, we have Blackie Mango, a host, a host of mangoes. Right, so we are very blessed in that. So I remember once I was fasting, I think I was on probably day three or four thereabouts, and I had gone to do my laps and I came home. And um, the mango, I think two mangoes, as soon as I went around the corner of the house, a mango fell almost at my foot. And I picked it up. 
it had just fallen i didn't even wash the mango i just bit right into the mango and like halfway into the mango i, I remembered oh my god i'm fasting totally forgot that i was fasting right so me and this tree we go way back all right so i just wanted to share with you my excitement that the season is upon us the mango season is upon us the trees are beautiful they are blossoming the green fruits are there you know getting fit pulling up themselves getting ready to be eaten right so let we anxiously await all right valiance i'll see you in the next video if you have not subscribed to vibrant authentic living Take the time to do so now. We're on the journey together. You know, we are exploring, learning about ourselves. The Egyptians said, man, know thyself. And knowing yourself includes how you eat, how you think, um, your environment, how you, how you treat others, everything. So we include all of these when we talk about vibrant, authentic living. And we call ourselves Valiance because we are in this, we're on this journey. We're trodding through the valley, so to speak, because the way we live now makes it so, the, the, the whole environment, the culture makes it so difficult to maintain this kind of living, which should be very natural, very normal, but it isn't. So we have to be Valiant. All right. So take the time to subscribe, like, share. If you want to support the channel, please go to patreon.com. The link is in the description. Support us and I'll see you in the next video.